I'm gonna demonstrate our six arm exercises. First one is gonna be piked handstand push-ups, okay? You lay out your blankets, your gymnastics mat, or even a couch pillow to give your head a little cushion from hitting the floor too hard, okay? Um, the goal is to touch your head to the ground, so you wanna go nice and slow and controlled to work those muscles. Remember, it's 10 handstand push-ups. The more of your leg you put on the couch, the easier it is, the more, you get your bottom above your head, the harder it is. Coach Candace can't even get all the way down. For my level fives to make it even more challenging, when you touch your head to the ground, let's give a little leg extension on both legs and then go back to that push up, okay? 10 of those. For chair tricep dips, you can either use a small chair like this one or the same setup you just had for your piked handstand push ups. You're gonna make sure all your fingers are facing forward, your arms are straight, and you're gonna try to drop your bottom right next to the chair, okay, 10 times. Make sure those fingers are facing forward. If that's too easy, get those legs straight, and you should feel it in your triceps a little bit more, okay? Even further challenge, lift a leg up and just do one leg. Woo, I can't go as low, okay? You're gonna to wanna to do 10 on each leg if you do the single leg version. For this exercise, you're gonna utilize your gymnastics mat or blankets again, okay? So not much change in our setup. You're gonna walk out to a nice flat plank and you're gonna take your right arm and reach for your left toe, sticking your backside far up to the ceiling, okay? Nice and slow and controlled, okay? Touching the opposite toe. One and one, two and two, okay? You're gonna do that 10 times. If you need a little bit more of a challenge, you're gonna stick those feet up on the couch again and try it this way. It puts a lot more weight on your arms. You can see I'm sticking my bottom up. You gotta try to get your hips nice and flat and then stick them up really high, okay? That's an arm exercise, but I also feel it in my stomach. So really engage your core and that's gonna help, okay? Your next exercise option for arms is wall push-ups. okay? You're gonna be doing wide, normal, and diamond shape, okay? So you're gonna put your hands wider than your shoulders against the wall and try to kiss your forehead, okay? Ask mom and dad if it's okay to put your face against the wall. You're gonna do 10 wide and 10 narrow, so your elbows are gonna be coming into your chest. You should feel it in those triceps, yes? And then make your diamond and try to kiss your pointer fingers, okay? If that's too easy, the way you make it more challenging is walking your feet further and further. Mine are out of the frame, they're so far, okay? And that should give you an even bigger workout, trying to touch all the way to the wall on wide, narrow, and diamond. Okay, really push yourself on this one. It's 30 reps in one station, okay? You can do it. Another option for arms is walking push-ups, okay? This isn't walking with your legs, it's gonna be walking with your arms. So plant your feet in one spot and leave them there, okay? So something like this. You're gonna to try to keep your bottom flat, not sticking up above your head. You're gonna to touch your chest, yes. Take a step to the side, chest. Step back to the middle, chest. Step back to the side and back to the middle. Okay, you're gonna be doing five to the left and five to the right to get your 10 reps. If that's too easy, which for some of you buff people it's going to be, I want you to grab that gymnastics mat. Okay, let's put it a little off center so you can see. Okay, and you're gonna touch your chest on the mat, walk and do one arm incline push up, trying to get that chest all the way to the mat. Walk back and you're gonna have to do a push up every time you come to the center, got it? Really show it off guys. I bet you can do more than I can. For our last exercise option, this is gonna be really good for your shoulder rotations, okay? I'm calling them ATVs because with your arms, you're gonna make those letters. You're gonna to lift to an A, lift to a T, and lift to a V, okay? Um, the first option is just laying down on the floor. Your thumbs are pointing down, pressing everything in the ground. You're gonna lift your arms to get that A back to the ground. Arms out to the side to a T, thumbs up to the ceiling, and V. That's one rep, okay? To push yourself a little bit more, you can grab your ankle weights, 
a set of dumbbells, really, really light, like two, three pounds max, okay? Five seem to be a little heavy. If you don't have weights at home, just grab a can of soup. That would work really good. So right here I have my weighted cups to demonstrate. So I'm gonna lift those cups to the ceiling, lift those cups to the side, and then flip them upside down. Okay, you should feel that right here. Really squeezing your lower body, trying to have good form, okay?